teacher. No more nada, teacher. Hi, good evening, everybody. People, good people, evening, good teacher. evening. Hello, teacher. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Happy? Are you guys happy? Very good. Yes. Very good. All right, all right. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. Yes. All right. It's it's a good day, people. It's a good day today to continue learning. Yes. And that's what we are going to do. We're going to try to learn something new today. But let me just load the attendance list. Okay. They're ready. When the Akashi stand is done. It's almost ready, people. Just give me give me a few seconds. A few more seconds. All right, we are ready. Let me do this. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. No? Okay. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Thank you for being here. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Soto. Yes. Cecilia, just being with Hibar Soto. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. Thank you for being here. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Daisy is not here. Eduardo Franco Nunez. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present teacher. Hello, thank you for being here, Emerson. Francisco Sanchez Lopez. Teacher, present. Me, me, no, ahí por, no podía activar. Oh, yes, sorry. No lo había visto. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Eh, ya, ya voy a encender la cámara, que no ha llegado a la casa todavía. Okay, that's okay, that's fine, that's fine. Yes. Let me continue with Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Hello, I'm here, teacher. Hi, thank you for being here. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. 
Present teacher. Hi, thank you for being here. Jose Alexander Hernandez Carvajal. Present teacher. Hi, good evening. What? Today? Okay, Jose Alexander, early, temprano. Estoy trabajando todavía, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't know. Oh, yes, right? Yes, I'm working. I'm working. <laughs> I'm working, people. I'm just, I'm just having fun, you know? I'm having fun. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, Jose Bernardo Lopez Montes. Bernardo? No. Okay. Hopefully he will be here later on. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present teacher. Hi, Jose, thank you for being here. Welcome. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enriquez. Present. Hello, hello, thank you for being here. Welcome, Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Hi, Luis, thank you for being here. Neftali Humberto Ramirez Ramos. Neftali is not here yet, okay. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Hi, Oscar. Thank you for being here. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Hi, Sara. Thank you for being here. Tatiana Yvonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Hi, Tatiana. Thank you for being here. Jancy Olivares Raimundo. Okay. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Hi, Carla. Thank you for being here. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present teacher. Carlos, thank you for being here. Let me see. Carle, sorry, Karen. Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Present. Hi. Okay. Thank you for being here, Karen. All right, people. Welcome everybody. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you all of you for being here. People, I have received a lot of, uh, how can I say this, warnings, <laughs> because there are many people that have not completed the activities in the platform and I'm a little worried. Well, you should be worried, not me, <laughs> because uh, they told me today that you need to finish the platform by today on section number three, section one, section three, section two, I'm sorry, the midterm and section number three, please. Because you have to do it. And there are some people that, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Well, let me tell you people that most of you, many of you, Muchos han faltado bastante, entonces tienen un, un porcentaje bien bajo que probablemente les afecte bastante y ya quedan pocos días. Bueno, ahí es la clase número 15, faltan cinco más, entonces es estar siempre las cinco clases, ¿ok? Estas que vienen, las últimas cinco, es estar de principio hasta el fin, ¿ok? Yes. All right, please. Y también hay que tener una participación un poco más activa. Please, people. That's what we need, okay? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but there are some people that are not going to continue. They are not going to be able to continue next module because of the, the assistance or the attendance, let's say the attendance or the unattendance. And I think also because of the platform, there are some people that have not worked on the platform. Okay. So people today, you need to finish the platform. Okay, please. Let's start. Today, we're gonna have the second part of idioms. Okay, look. People, do you see what I'm sharing? Okay, very yes. good, very good, very good. As you see how to use idioms, part number two. So today we're going to be reviewing more idioms. Okay, we're going to be doing that. 
All right. This is class number 15. Remember, we finished unit number three today. Hoy terminamos la unidad número tres. Okay. Les comentaba que hay que hacer la plataforma este día, ya que me han estado insistiendo bastante últimamente que hay muchos que no han hecho ni la actividad, bueno, la sección uno, que es para la semana, semana uno. Yes. All right. Let me continue. But before we go, we go on, I want to see this. Do you remember the phrasal verbs, people? Guys, do you remember the phrasal verbs? Tell me, dígame. Phrasal verbs. ¿Quién se acuerda? Who remembers? Clean up. Okay, clean up, yes. Switch off. Call up. Tour off. Seasop. Incredible. Tighten up. Tighten up. Okay, okay. Tighten up, okay. We, we, we reviewed like six of them or seven. I'm not really sure. Six or seven. Yes, that was yesterday. People, yes. how, how do you create a phrase over? ¿Cómo se crea un verbo frasal? A verb, a verb a, with preposition. preposition. Okay, thank you, Jose and Carlos. Yes, a verb with preposition. Okay, un verbo con una preposición. Well, a verb with one preposition or a verb with two prepositions or three prepositions. Yes, yes. Example of two preposition, I'm going to give you one example in the chat, okay? Okay, look, run out of two prepositions. Out is una y of es otra, okay? Tenemos get along with, okay? También tiene dos preposiciones, along with, all right? And maybe three prepositions, but I, I haven't, I don't have any ideas right now. So only two for the moment. But there are some that have three prepositions. Okay, look, uh, I was telling you, this is the definition for the phrasal verb. A phrasal verb is a verb, it says there, it's a verb combined with the preposition. Es un verbo combinado con una preposición. O más bien juntado, no combinado porque no se, no se combina, se no están a la par. Both. Okay, both the verb and the preposition create another definition away from their original meaning. Okay, ambas, el verbo y la preposición crean una definición nueva en el verbo. Okay, example, por ejemplo, people, look. Tenemos el verbo look. ¿Qué es look, people? ¿Qué es el verbo look? Sí, ver, ver, Sorry. Ver, mirar. mirar. Okay, ver, ver o mirar, right? That's what it is. What about this one? Look after. Mirar después. Right? People, look after. Look after means cuidar. Okay, cuidar. Yes. Example, I look after my son every day. Yo cuido a mi hijo todos los días. Okay, I look after my grandmother on the weekends, pido a mi, a mi abuela, fin de semana, okay? Yes, that's what it is. Look after, cuidar. Imagínense cómo cambia el significado. Look es mirar o ver. Y after es después, okay? Entonces, o, o dentro. Es como podemos decir, mirar a después, mirar dentro. Es como que no tiene mucho sentido, right? Entonces, si unimos un verbo con una preposición, okay? El significado que, que generamos es nuevo. Okay, yes, it's new. Another example is this one, look up. What is look up, people? No? Observar las estrellas. <laughs> okay, no, yes, yes. Okay, mirar hacia arriba, but look up, in this caso, is buscar en libro o diccionario. Significa buscar, yes. Look up, buscar. Pero buscar en un libro o en un diccionario. That's what it is. Yes. Look for. This one is the most common one. The most common is buscar. Look for, buscar. Look for my cell phone. Buscar mi teléfono. Look for a job. Buscar un trabajo, etc. Okay. And look up to. Look at this one. Look up to. 
dos preposiciones, tenemos el up y el to. Two prepositions, look up to means admirar. Ok, admirar o tener respeto hacia. Ok, that's what it is. As you see, one verb, different prepositions. Como pueden ver, un verbo y hemos colocado diferentes preposiciones. Ok, diferentes preposiciones. A veces puede decir look out, look out, maybe look off, ok, etc. Look in, yes, look into. We have many, many phrasal verbs. Ok, look at these ones. Los que vimos ayer, let's go this, let's, let's do this quickly. Vamos esto muy rápido. Tighten up, dijimos que significaba, people. What is it? Aha, hello. Ajustar. Ajustar. Apretar. Yes. To make something become tired. Hacer que algo sea, se haga más socado o más apretado. Right? Yes. Example, I tighten up the tires once in a blue moon. Okay. De vez en cuando ajusto o apreto las llantas. Okay. Más bien el ring, right? El ring. But you understand. <laughs> okay. So tighten up, apretar or ajustar. Okay. Calibrar también, yes, that's what it is. Now, clean up. Guys, do you remember what clean up is? Clean up. Uh, limpiar un lugar específico. Yes, exactly. Clean, right? Clean. It says to make a personal place clean and tidy. Tidy, organizado, okay? Yes, limpiar un lugar específico, okay? Limpiar levantando, right? That's what it is. Now, One example can be, Jose never cleans up his office. It's filthy. Okay, Jose nunca limpia su oficina. Está sucio. Right? Yes. I'm sorry, Bernardo. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. It's Jose Alexander. Yes. <laughs> no, teacher, no. Well, excuse me. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. People, the next one, switch off. It says here to, talk, to stop a device powered by electricity. Okay. Yes, que significa apagar, o, bueno, apagar prácticamente, yes, o cambiar interruptor a apagado, okay, switch off, apagar, she switched off the blender, ella apagó la licuadora, okay, yes, another one is call up, guys, what is call up, it is here, look, básicamente es llamar, right, To use the phone to talk to someone. Usar el teléfono para llamar a alguien. Okay, example, you can call up and leave a message if I'm out. Tú puedes llamar y dejar un mensaje si estoy fuera. All right. Another one is ease up. Okay. What is ease up, people? Que que era ease up. Arruinarse. Yes, okay. Yes, to, that, to get damaged. To, To, to stop being able to move or walk, work in this in the normal way, okay? Yes, that's what it is, okay? Dañarse o funcionar mal, okay? Yes, example, my motorcycle has seized up seven times, okay? Mi moto se ha arruinado siete veces, ya. I always forget to put oil in it. Siempre olvido ponerle aceite, <laughs> all right, or echarle aceite, all right? Another, another one? Well, no, no more. People, practice. Your turn, people. Okay? Miren, sabiduría cósmica. Right? That's what I need. But people, let's practice. Practiquemos por unos cuantos minutos. Acá están, miren. Acá tenemos call up, to call a person, see this up, to be damaged, switch off, to change the power, etc. Okay? That's not the business. But don't turn off. No estaba turn off acá. Okay? But turn off and switch off es lo mismo. Okay? Apagar. People, can you please give me an example or try to give me an example using the present verbs? Me teacher. Okay. My computer sees up many times, so I bought a new one. Okay, okay, sees up, all right, all right. My computer sees up many times, so I bought a new computer. You have money, good for you. <laughs> All right, people, continue, continue, people. Uh, my mom tell me I have to clean up my room every Sunday. Okay, my mother tells tells me. 
tells me. Okay. Okay. Review it, please. My mom tells me I have to clean to clean up my room every Sunday. Okay. I have to clean up my room every Sunday. All right. Thank you for the example. Very good. Uh, let me continue, Karen. Can you give us an example, Karen? No. Okay. What about you, Luis? I will clean up my office tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, Lamir. Excellent. I will clean up my office tomorrow. Okay. Luis, are you there? I I am I am sick as a dog. I will call up the doctor. Okay, I am as sick as a dog. I will call up the doctor. All right, all right. Okay, let me continue here with someone else. Uh, Carla, what about you, Carla? No, teacher. Uh huh. Can you give me an example? Um, um, my, my brother clean up and uh, mm, doesn't and bedroom. Repeat, please. My brother. Uh huh. Uh, not clean up the doesn't, bedroom. Doesn't, doesn't clean clean up the bedroom. Okay, doesn't clean up the bedroom. All right, Tatiana. Hello. Hello, teacher. Clean up now. Uh, what, what? What I say, uh, Too much repetition. Um, es que <laughs> Vamos a ver. We got more here. Look. My my mom call up call up uh, my brother. Called up, sería, o calls up. Si it calls, my mother oh. calls, con S si es presente o si es pasado, llamó. Ah, okay, okay. Mother called up. My mother calls up uh, my brothers. All right, all right. That's that's fine, that's fine. Thank you very much for your participation. People, that's okay. Uh, it's, it's just a quick participation, okay? Thank you very much for your participation later on we're going to continue with this part with more idioms okay yes we're going to do that later on all right now let's continue with the book in the book we have something to do for the for the for the next hour people do you see the book pueden ver el libro estamos en la página número we're on page number 37 Yes, teacher. Yes. Page number 37, final 37. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, look. Reading. Okay, reading. Read the following tips <clears throat> on how to organize a preventive, you can say preventive or preventive maintenance plan. People, maintenance. No digan maintenance, es maintenance, maintenance, okay? And this one, se puede decir preventive, 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 or preventive. Así como está ahí, preventive or preventive, all right? Yes. La primera que dijo era como con F al final. Which one? Preventive. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, preventive. Preventive. Mm. All right, so we're going to read three, three steps, I think. Yes, three steps. All right, people listen to the pronunciation and also please let me know if there is a word that you don't understand, okay? Avísenme si hay palabras que no entienden y pueden anotarlas o marcarlas para poder revisarlas luego. Step number one. Step one. Get the right people on board. Before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan, 
You need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could include people from data processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and keep up. It's keep up, not kept. Keep present. Keep up to date so you can get important feedback as you go. People, is there a word that you don't understand from here? Yes, craft, craftsman. Where is it? In the, in the last line of the first paragraph. paragraph. Teacher in five lines? In the five line, the first word. The first one, the first one. Craft, craftsman, uh-huh. It's the person that works in in uh, in places in places where they make uh, cultural things like artesanía, artesanos. I think it is. No. Son los que hacen pulseritas en los en uh, in touristic place touristic places. Yes, what it is. Craft artesanía, craftsman, que lo que es, creo que es artesano, si no me equivoco. I don't know, the profession, yes. All right, that's what it is. Craftsman. Uh, feedback. Feedback. Retroalimentación. Yes. That's what it is. Feedback. Guys, what else? Or pronunciation. Keep up. Keep up. Ese no es, ahí no es, no es kept, no es kept. Ahí está en pasado. Tiene que estar en presente porque todo, todo va a estar presente. No hay nada en pasado aquí. Entonces no concuerda con la, con la oración que, que estaba antes. Dice, es importante, es importante detenerlos acá. Tenerlos a bordo y mantenerse de aquí. Entonces tiene que estar en presente, no pasado. It's keep, right? In the chat, keep. Data, como dijo que se decía. I'm sorry. Data. Data. Data, data. or data. Data or data. Both are correct. You data. can say data or data. That's not a problem. Yes. Okay. No more questions. All right. Uh, I would like a person to read. A volunteer. One or two people. Need the chair. Okay, Tatiana. Wow, she's on fire. Excellent. Step one, get the right people of board before you begin to organize your preventive maintenance plan. You need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top management. Management. Management, maintenance, you assist. Maintenance managers. Main, ah, maintenance managers, maintenance technicians, and any other staff who understand the way your system operative. Operate. This will operate. No, operates. Operate. Mm -hmm. This school include uh, people from that uh, processing, accounting, 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 se puede accounting. Decir, se puede decir accounting, así como está ahí, o se puede decir accounting, moviendo la, o... Oh. Removiendo la okay. T. Accounting. Okay. Accounting. 
accounting, harassment, and members. Crossman, Crossman, teacher, pronunciation, Crossman, Craftman, Craftman, a member of production and production control. You many not need improve from each of these people at every step of the process, but it's important to have them on board and keep up keep, keep up the the today so you can get important free free feedback as feedback. you go feedback 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 as you go feedback as you go okay thank you for reading Tatiana people keep up to date que significa keep up to date ahí está en el chat Keep up to date. Keep up to date. No. Estar al actualizado. Exactly. Thank you, Emerson. Estar actualizado, estar al día. Okay. That's what it is. Estar al tanto de todo lo que está pasando. Just keep up to date. Or up to date. Okay. Yes. Now, thank you for reading. We're going to need the help of one more person. Uno más que lea el mismo párrafo. A volunteer, please. Thank you. Me. Okay. Me. Okay. <laughs> Carlos and then and then Karen. Karen y el segundo. Yes. No problem. Okay. Step one. Step one. Get the right people on board before you being to organize your preventive maintenance plan you need to have the right people on board with the plan. Include top manage, management, maintenance manager, maintenance technicians, and any, you know, and any other staff who understands the way your system operates. This could, in, this could include people from data process, processing, accounting, craftsmen, and members of production and production control. You may not need input from each of these people at every step of the process. But it's important to have them on board and keep up to date so you can get important, important feedback as you go. Okay, oh, I forgot to ask you what input is. Input. Mm -hmm. Guys, what is input? I don't know. Como dar entrada. Sorry? Como dar entrada. Yes, entrada, right. Entrada is input. But in this case, input means con contribution. Contribución o aporte. Okay? That's what it is. Contribution. Thank you for reading, Carlos. Excellent. Let's continue with the step number two. Step number two, it says, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task forces input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skills so the skills they'll need when your preventive maintenance plans goes into full effect. Guys, is there a word that you don't understand from here? Force. Ah. Force. Fuerza. Ah. Uh. Hop. Sorry, which one? Hop. You hop. Which one? Hop. Set goals. You hop. Uh, you hope. Esperas. The skills. Sorry. The skills or skills. Skills, abilities, abilities. That's what it is. Abilities. 
where they help to achieve. Achieve, alcanzar, lograr. Dice, establece objetivos que puedas o que esperes alcanzar usando el sistema. Achieve, alcanzar, lograr. Ok. O completar también. Yes. Y what else? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, first, uh, yes, yes. Uh, contracting is. No, no. Ese es, ese no. es, el, 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 es un, el, bueno, task for no es, no es una tarea, ok, es un grupo de personas. Task for. Está acá. Es el comando, ok, o el grupo. One teacher, uh, task. Task force. Sí, acá es, es, es como dije, task force es comando, ok, en español, comando. Entonces, esto que está acá, que es input, es contribución o un aporte. Okay. Dice acá, usando, dice, los aportes del comando o del grupo. That's what eh. Solo, eh, en español le voy a decir eh, no, que si force con la S es una contracción con force is no, como le acabo de comentar no. usa, dice acá, usando la contribución o los aportes del comando del comando, comando o grupo, okay. en este caso esa apóstrofe, esa S no es is sino que significa de es pose ah, okay. Possession, yes. Showing possession, yes. All right. Let me see. Jose Alexander, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Please read. Step three. Yes, no, the second one, second one. Okay. Step two, set goals for your preventive maintenance plan. Using your task force input, set goals you hope to achieve using the system. Begin training your task force on the computer skill. They'll need when your preventive maintenance plan goes into full effect. Okay, into full effect. Thank you for reading. Thank you, thank you. Cecilia, are you available? Okay, Cecilia is not. Carol, are you available? Okay, let's go down here with Daisy. Oh, Karen, yes, I, I, I just remember, I just remember. Karen, she wanted to read earlier. Hi, teacher. Okay. Can you participate? Hi, teacher. Can you participate? Yes. Okay, read step number two, please. Lea el paso dos. Yes, teacher. Okay. Step two. Set goals for for pre preventive man maintenance maintain maintenance um, main maintenance main plan. maintenance plan using man main maintenance no, no. it's main no Maintenance is maintenance. 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 No, maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Okay. Thank you. You change your, your, your task forces first. Forces. Input forces. Input set goals you have to act. Uh, ah, okay. activity. 
achieve? Achieve using the system. Yes. Begin training your task for us, for us on the computer. Skills they, they need when you prevent maintain plan cause into full effect. Okay, into full effect. Okay. Now we're going to continue with part number, step number three. Sorry. Okay, thank you for reading. Thank you so much for that. Okay, recordemos people maintenance. 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 That's what it is, maintenance. Let's continue. Okay. I read in step three. No, no, I'm going to read. Do it later, okay? Yes, thank you, thank you. Okay, look. Step number three. Okay. Inventory the thank equipment you. assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering, including in your preventive maintenance plan. Tag in the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the, with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance software program. People, is there a word that you don't understand from here? Assets. Assets. Bien Assets. Un bien inmueble. Activos. Oh. Bien inmueble, yes, that's what it is. Tagging. Tagging. People etiquetando, yes. Chai. People, what else? Guys, what else? Carry out. Carry out. Llevar a cabo. Efectuar. Efectuar, carry out, es un phrasal verb, by the way. <laughs> es carry out, efectuar, llevar a cabo. That's what it is. Okay, more questions, people? Dijimos que carry out, llevar a cabo, que okay, efectuar. Guys, what else? Assets, dijimos que eran activos o bien inmueble, right? Assets. Son activos. Activos. Yes. All right. Then I need I need people to read this, this paragraph. Sarah, uh, Karen, sorry. Karen, can you please read? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Inventory the equipment and assets. Go through your facility and inventory all the equipment you're considering including in your preventing maintenance plan. Tagging, tagging the equipment as you go. Tagging the equipment as you go. Create a list of all the assets you have a responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize it with the assistance of a good preventing maintenance software program. Thank you for reading, Karen. People, esa de en organize no va, porque no, 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 no concuerda con, con carry, que carry es el verbo que sigue después de tú, ¿ok? Después de tú usamos un verbo en su forma original, carry, original, Y también tendría que ir organize también en su forma original, no con D. Ok, yes. Uh, one thing here, here, record, not record. Ok, no es record, es record. Ok, record. Si decimos record, ese es un record. Record de, 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 de fútbol, record de cualquier cosa. Entonces, record es gra, uh, grabar. 
Okay. Yes. Grabar. Record. Record. Es un, un el record. <laughs> All right. Yes. So be careful. Okay. Mucho cuidado con la pronunciación de algunas palabras que son iguales. Otras iguales son present. Ahí está en el chat. Son iguales como verbo y nombre present and present. Okay. Thank you for reading, Karen. Uh, one more person. Let me see. Vladimir, are you available for participation? I think he's not available yet. Okay. Can see? Yes, I got a video. Okay, Vladimir. Aún no? I don't know what happened. Can see? Mm -hmm. A few minutes. A few minutes. Jancy, yeah. no? Okay. Oscar. Are you there, Oscar? No. Nestor Lee, what about you? Meeting. Yes. Uh, yes. Go through your facility in inventory of the equipment you are considering, including in your preventing. I, I don't know what it, how can they say that. Pre preventive, preventive maintenance, no. maintenance plan. Preventive, preventive. Maintenance. Maintenance plan. Take the equipment as you go, create a list of all the assets you have responsibility for record, record the following details as you go. And quit, and quit in mind this that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistant of a good preventing. I don't know, sorry, I forget it. Maintenance. Maintenance software programs. Okay, maintenance software program. Okay, we have read this information. Very interesting, by the way, many words and uh, yes, okay. Now, we're going to continue with this part down here before we Teacher. do that. Yes, hello. I have a question. Okay, tell me. And um, if in keep, how do you say in English? Keep, mantén in, in English. Is keep or quit? Which one? And yes. keep in mind. Keep this one, mantener. Yes. Um, mantener. Not the pronunciation. In this case, keep in mind is ten in mente. Ten in mente. O toma cuenta. Ten en cuenta. Okay. Ten en mente que este proceso dice es mucho más fácil de efectuar y organizar, dice. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Keep tiene mucho significado, okay? Más con los phrasal verbs, keep out, keep, keep up. Yes. Many, many different definitions. Okay, teacher. We're going to continue, guys. Uh, please, if you have your book open, don't don't look at it. Okay, don't look at your book right now. Don't cheat, please. We're gonna do this activity down here. Lo que está abajo de la parte de esa parte. Okay, without going back, sin ir o sin regresar al párrafo, vamos a responder lo que está acá. Guys, do you see it? Lo pueden ver? Yes. Yes. Okay. Emerson, read number one, please, and tell us if it is true or false. Creo que pasa ahí, ¿verdad? No? Okay, teacher. Have the appropriate people on board is not relevant. It's, it's false. Okay. Having the appropriate people on board is not relevant. This is false. Okay, false. Let's continue with the second one. The second one, let me see. Luis, read the second one. It is important to include people who understand of maintenance. Okay. It's true. Okay, true. It's, it is important to include people who understand of maintenance. People, it is completely True. Okay. Number three. Yes, Carlos. Carlos Guerra. Read number three, please. Okay. 
setting goals in the option for the PMP? Setting goals is an option for the PMP. I don't know what PMP stands for. It's PMP. I don't know. Ni siquiera vimos arriba, no estaba arriba, ¿verdad? PMP. Preventive maintenance plan. Thank you, excellent. Preventive maintenance plan. ¿Para qué lo ponen así? No lo dicen antes arriba. Right? They should mention, they should mention that up there. Okay, yes. So, setting goals is an option for the preventive maintenance plans. It is true. Okay, yes. Right? Number four, number four, uh, let me see, Tatiana, read number four. Okay. For beer result, creating a list of the asset is important. Okay. True. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is true, it is true. And the last one, Bernardo, read the last one. According to the article to carry out the PMP, a software is mandatory. Um, true. Guys, what do you think? Is it mandatory? No, it is not mandatory. Look, it's up here. Acá está arriba. Wait, let me move this up. It says here. Uh, it says create a list of the, all the assets you have a responsibility for. Record the following details as you go. And keep in mind that this process is much easier to carry out and organize with the assistance of a good preventive maintenance pro software program. So no, okay. It is not mandatory. Okay. How did they move? Anyway, so we got that one, right? It is false. The first one is false. The second one is true. The third one is true. The fourth one is true. And the last one is completely false. Excellent, everybody. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? No, give me, give me one second. Okay, I'm back. Thank you for waiting. Now. We're going to continue and I'm going to show you today's idioms. People, are you sleepy? Ten and sueño. El cuadrugo ahora tiene sueño. Yes. Hi. Me. Yes, of course. And tomorrow. Yeah. And tomorrow, uh, and tomorrow yes. And tomorrow too. Three thirty, three and media. <laughs> no, for for again. No, 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 las cuatro no. Three and media para bañarse está listo para trabajar después yo solo. In your case. <laughs> All right, people. Let's, let's learn idioms. Aprendamos más idioms o, o dichos o modismos. Ok. Recordemos que un idiom es un grupo de palabras que no tienen un significado literal. Ok. Lo que cambia completamente. Ok. Un ejemplo en español, el camarón que se verme se lo lleva la corriente. Right. Y eso no es literal. Right. In sí, English. Ah, in English, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, look, idioms, part number two. Part number two, list. This is the list, people. It's like a sign in libro, okay? This is the list. Wipe out, wipe out, 
es con D, no es con, no como está ahí, es con D. I'm sorry, my bad. White. White out. Recordemos que esta T que se escucha acá se puede unir con lo que está acá. Out. Wiped out. Ok, wiped out. Wiped out. Se puede unir, ok. I will tell you what, what, what this is later on. Ese es uno de los que veremos ahora. El siguiente es to have a lot on one's plate. Ok, to have a lot on one's plate. Que veremos qué significa. To settle down, hang in there. Ese creo que se los mostré hace como dos días o tres días. No, last week, right? Last week, hang in there. But we're going to review it. Don't worry about it. To keep one's head above the water. To scale back one's hour. Stressed out. Recordemos que también aquí en este caso aplica la pronunciación de esto que está acá. La T y la O. Stressed out. Out. Right. Stressed out. Arriba, wiped out. Stressed out. Slip one's mind. Slip, slip, slip one's mind. ¿Saben alguno de estos? ¿Quién sabe alguno de esos que están acá? Son. One, two, three. Son ocho. ¿Quién sabe alguno? People, hello. No, teacher. No, ninguno. No. I understand, don't worry. Okay, veamos uno por uno. Let's, let's check this out one by one. Look, wiped out. Wiped out definition to be very tired. Estar muy cansado. Wiped out. Okay. Wiped out. Wiped out. To be very tired. ¿Qué significa estar muy cansado? Okay. That's the definition. And look at this. Veamos lo que está aquí. Ejemplos. After the long trip, my dad was wiped out. Okay. Después del viaje largo, papá estaba cansado. Estaba muy cansado. I am always wiped out after work. People, eso aplica para nosotros. Okay. I am always wiped out after work. Siempre estoy muy cansado después de trabajar. People, yes. Can you confirm or no? Yes. Full energy. No. <laughs> low energy, right? <laughs> low energy, low battery. So, wiped out to be very tired. Start muy cansado, okay? También wipe out significa algo más, ahí lo puse en el chat. Como phrase over, no como idiom. Okay, let's continue. Look, this one, to have a lot on one's plates. Tener mucho en el plato, right? Tener mucho en el plato. Definition, to have a lot of things or work to do. Tener muchas cosas o mucho trabajo que hacer, okay? People, ¿qué quiere decir ese once que está ahí? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa ese once? Uno de, algo así. ¿Cómo se usa? How do you use it? Uh, Cuando le pertenece a alguien. Exactly, right. No se pone once, sino que se pone my, your, my, your, his, or her, etc. Ok. El mío, suyo, de él o de ella. But look at examples. Mira los ejemplos. I can attend today's meeting. No puedo asistir a la reunión este día. Because I have a lot on my plate. Porque tengo muchas cosas que hacer. Okay? Yes. Because I have a lot on my plate. Observen el all, el all once. El once que está acá se ha convertido en my. Okay? Another example, Christian didn't do, didn't do, didn't go. I'm sorry, it says go, no es do. No sé por qué quedó do. It is go, okay? Si no te van a confundir. 
go. Christian didn't go to the beach because he had a lot on his plate. Christian no fue a la playa porque tenía muchas cosas que hacer. Okay, people, again, to have a lot on one's plate significa tener muchas cosas que hacer. Okay, yes. La vida de un adulto. Right, people? Un adulto. Sad. Okay. Question so far. Pregunta este momento. No. No questions? Okay, look, another one to settle down. Settle down, this one is easy, it's just fácil. Settle down is calmarse. To calm down, look, to calm down or take it easy. To calm down, to take it easy. To settle down, tranquilizarse, calmarse. Okay, that's what it is. Example, after being fired, después de ser despedida, después de ser despedida, <laughs> Elsa wasn't able to settle down. Después de ser despedida, Elsa no fue capaz de tranquilizarse o calmarse. Okay. Another example, the, way, the best way, the best way to deal with an argument is to settle down first. Okay. La mejor forma de lidiar con un argumento es calmarse primero. Okay. So, settle down, people. Calmarse, tranquilizarse. Huh? To calm down, to take it easy, to relax. To be patient, etc. Okay, yes, we have naive in the class today. He's looking at me. Yes, I'm talking. Uh, I'm talking about you, Bernardo. Que se puso la guarda para atrás. Teacher, you are the first one to tell me that. <laughs> really? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. The teacher have has a big. How do you say imagination? Imaginary? Uh, imagination. Imagination. <laughs> yes, of course. You, I have uh, limitless imagination. Or unlimited. Okay, next. Hang in there. Esa es la mostré anteriormente. Hang in there to have a lot of patience. Tener mucha paciencia. This is hang in there. Como aguanta, aguantar, okay? When you have a situation in your house or at work, a problem, okay, and you have no solution, you hang in there, okay? Tienes paciencia, esperas o te aguantas, okay? That's hang in there, all right? Hang in there. Examples, being unemployed makes me sad. Estar desempleado me pone triste, but I just have to hang in there, pero tengo que aguantármelas. Okay, o ser paciente. Getting high paying jobs is difficult to pull off. Many people have to hang in there. Okay, conseguir un trabajo donde paguen, paguen bastante es muy difícil conseguir. Muchos tienen que aguantarse o tener paciencia. Okay, people, hang in there, tener paciencia. Be patient. To keep one's head above the water. Okay, mantener la cabeza de alguien arriba del agua, <laughs> right? Yes, it means to survive, significa sobrevivir. Okay, recordemos que ese one se puede cambiar a my, your, she, uh, sorry, hers, her, his, its, their, and our. So, to keep one's ahead above the water means to survive. Example, it is a harsh time but I have to keep my head above the water, okay? Dice acá, son tiempos difíciles, o oh, es un momento difícil, okay? Harsh es difícil, duro, brusco, harsh. It is a harsh time, but I have to keep my head above the water, okay? Es un momento difícil, pero tengo que sobrevivir. Look, I have kept my head above the water for so long. I am wiped out. Okay, he mantenido, dice, um, he sobrevivido por mucho tiempo, ya estoy cansado, o estoy cansado. Yes, that's what it is. So, to keep one's head above the water means to survive, sobrevivir, okay? People, do you have any questions? Questions? Okay, let's continue with the last one, I think. 
to scale to scale back one's hours to scale back one's one's hours people this means to reduce reducir las horas de trabajo okay to scale back one one's hours significa reducir las horas de trabajo right yes example well no no definition to reduce the number of hours one works okay reducir las horas de trabajo que uno Okay, that's what it is. Example, due to my outstanding performance, the CEO has decided to scale back my hours. Debido a, how can I say this? Debido a mi sorprendente rendimiento, el CEO ha decidido reducir mis horas de trabajo. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, I need, I need my boss to scale back my hours too. That's your case. I know I need my boss to scale back my hours. Trabajo mucho. They give you more hours. Mi trabajo casi diez. Mi trabajo todo el día. Paso más más dormido que trabajando. <laughs> yes, people, it's true. Es cierto, no es broma. Hey, today I was watching the World Cup in the morning. Vi todos los partidos este día. Imagínese. Con razón se levantó a las tres a.m. <laughs> exactly, exactly, right. Look, stressed out. Stressed out, people. What is it stressed out? Muy ansioso, right? Estresado, frustrado. It says here to be under severe, severe, severo, severe strain. Guys, what is a strain? Are you saying it's a strain? No. Strain means stress. Ahí está en el chat, stress. Stain, palabra similar. Si le ven algún día. Strain, stain. Stain es manchar. Ok. So, stressed out, estresado. Ok, estar estresado, cansado. Example, at the end of the month, Many employees are stressed out since they've been under a lot of pressure. Okay, a fin de mes, muchos empleados están estresados debido a que han estado bajo mucha presión. Okay, yes. I think there's one more. Yes, this is the last one. Este es el último. Okay, dijimos que stressed out eres estresado. Okay, yes, cansado, mentalmente, ansioso. Okay. Slip one's mind, slip one's mind, okay? Slip one's mind means to forget or be forgotten, olvidar o ser olvidado, okay? I had the word in Spanish, I forgot the word in this. Perder la, la, la idea, se fuma la idea de la mente, olvidar. Okay. La noción de algo, no? Es como cuando se nos ocurre algo y en el segundo lo olvidamos, <laughs> right? Eso es eso, eso que está acá. Es olvidar algo, ¿ok? Forget, basically, forget. Look, I have so much to do that sometimes some things slip my, my, slip my mind, ¿ok? Tengo muchas cosas que hacer que algunas veces, algunas cosas, dice, se me escapan. Esa es la palabra, escaparse, se me escapó. ¿Ok? Esa es la palabra, escaparse. La idea que se escapa, el pensamiento. Yes. ¿Ok? So... Sleep on mind means escaparse, okay, referirse a una idea o a una opinión, okay. People, do you have any questions? Yes. Okay. El once siempre, siempre se va a cambiar por el my, her, his. Así es. Así es. Once. Yes, yes. Okay. Como palabra en sí, se pone así como está acá. Ok, en general, para, para dar una definición. Pero si vamos a un ejemplo, tendría, tendría que ir sin este one. Tendría que ir con my, your, his, her, etc. Ok, thank you. Guys, more questions? No? Ok, look. Your turn. Su turno, people. They are here, aquí están, con la definición a la par, ¿ok? 
wiped out, very tired, to have a lot of one's plate, to have a lot to do, to settle down, to calm down, hang in there, be patient, to keep one's head above the water, to survive, to scale back one's hours, to reduce the hours that we work, stressed out, under severe strain, and slips one's, one's mind means be forgotten, okay? I would like to get some examples, people, okay? But it is not going to be the same way we've, do, we've done it, okay? And uh, para hacer ese ejemplo que les pido, bueno, no será así, sino que será the way the book says, says so. The way the book says so. Acá está. Right, look. We got this one already. Ya vimos esto que está acá, lo que estábamos viendo en la presentación. Number three. Sorry, people. Part number two, sorry. Part number two. Choose three idioms from the box above and write a sentence per each. All right, that's what we're going to do. Choose three, elijan a tres de acá. Okay, and write an example y luego compartimos, okay? People? Yes. You can do it in the future, simple past, simple present, your decision, okay? Cualquier estructura. Three, only three, three examples. Let me know if you have any questions, okay? People, let me know.
Okay, guys, you finish? <clears throat> Terminamos? Yes. Is everybody ready? Estamos todos listos? Okay, then uh, share, please. Compartamos. Let's share. A volunteer, quien sea. Just go ahead. Me, Mr. teacher. Wow. Ladies, of course, like ladies, the ladies. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. President. <laughs> ¿Qué pasa, Jorge? ¿Qué pasa, Fernando? Entonces? <laughs> ladies first, Joanna. Exactly. exactly. Okay. Okay, and um, my first is um, I am stressed out for my boss. Okay. Uh, he should to settle down in front of. He his... should settle down. He should settle down. Okay. He should settle down in front of his sons. Okay. He should settle down in front of his sons. Okay. Continue. Okay. The CEO to have a lot on one play forever. Repeat, please. Yes or no? That one, no. Because? Repeat, repeat, repeat a lot. The CEO to have a lot on uh, one play No, no. Forever. Recuerde que ese once no va. El once no va. <laughs> El once se cambia por my, you, sorry, my, your, his, her, their, our, etc. The, uh, the CEO has a lot on his, his plate. His plate forever. Sorry, teacher. Okay, it's okay. Don't worry, Joanna. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Did you finish? Yes. <laughs> okay, Bernardo, you're next. Okay. I sleep my mind because of my mother. She talked to me when I was thinking what to do. All right, okay. My wife organized a family meeting. After a lot of work, she was so stressed out. Stressed out. Stressed, exactly, stressed out. My son told me, settle down, dad, because I was angry with him. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, my son does the same. He sometimes tells me, Papi, no me pegues. Papi, no me regañes. <laughs> yes. It's funny. It's funny. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bernardo, choose a person. Elija uno. Um, Emerson. Okay. Emerson. 
Okay. I should uh, settle down when my boss is questioning me. I should, sorry, settle down. I should settle down. Settle, settle. Settle down. Uh -huh, exactly. Do not finish the test on time, stress, stress is out. Repeat that one, repeat it again, please. Do not finish the test on time, stress is out. No. Not finishing, not finishing the test on time it stresses out. Así sería. Ok. Se lo escribiré en el chat en este momento, para que vean cómo, cómo iría estructurado. Ok. Not finishing the exam. Exams, exams, stresses. Out. Ok. Quiere decir, uh, oh, así sería. Not finishing the exams expresses out. Okay, but the idea that you have is good. Okay, continue, Marcel. Nonetheless, is I did many tests today. Why I sleep? Take my lunch. Repeat, please. I I did many tests today. What I sleep? Take my lunch. Lo último que dijo no lo escuché. Lunch. No, no, the, the last part. Uh, take my take my lunch. Take my lunch. Police choose another person, please. Okay. Um let me see. Carla. Okay, Carla, hello. Hello, teacher. Okay, share please. Share the example. Um, one, example mm -hmm. one, this day was wiped out at work. No, this day no, el día no se puede. They said I was, this day I was, yo estaba. I was wiped, wiped out at work. I was wiped out at work, exactly, exactly. I was. And two, instrumental music, it's to set, set, set down when you are tired. Okay, it's a, uh, repeat please. Instrumental music, is to settles settles down settles you down down settle no. down when you are tired instrumental music i should put it in your chat i stop Okay, instrumental music settles you down. En calma, porque tranquilizo cuando uh -huh. tú... Okay, that's what it is. All right, all right. And three, mm -hmm. when you are quitting at the bank, you must, you must hang in, in there. You must hang in there. Mm, no, no, no. Porque ese hang in there es más que todo cuando pasamos por una por un problema o por una situación difícil. Yes. Así es como se usa hanging there. Different, please. Um, vamos a ver. Ajá. Uh -huh. I'm listening, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for your answer. If not, don't worry, okay? Elija really alguien más, Carla. Don't worry, don't worry. Choose another person, please. Uh, uh, Daisy Elizabeth Resinos. Okay, Daisy, let's see what happens with Daisy. Daisy, are you there? Daisy, hello. Are you there? No, Daisy is not there. Alguien más, please. Carla. Somebody else, Carla, please. Okay. 
Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Oh, me... Eduardo Franco Núñez. Okay, hopefully he's available. Eduardo? No. Okay. Estoy oyente todavía, teacher. Perdón, perdón. No, no yet. Okay. Alexander Hernández. Hi. What about you? Hi, teacher. Hi. <laughs> Go ahead, please. Thanks. Okay, number one. I am white. White out after many meetings with my coworkers. Number two, I have a lot of ones plate and I only have four weeks at work. And number three, sometimes I sleep once mine mark the entry in my work and then they want to discount me. All right, all right. Do you have one more? Um, no, so I think. Only those? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, let me continue with someone else. I have my camera off because my internet is very slow. Okay. Yes. Luis Javier, can you please share your your part, please, or your examples? Okay. Today I am wipe wipe wiped out because I work a lot. Okay. Number one. Number two. I am very easy. Ah, pardon. So I am very busy. Very busy because to have a lot on my plate now at work and after. I sleep. I sleep at my club to my mother by her pretty day. All right. All right. Thank you for sharing your examples, Luis. Let me see if, I, if it works now. Hopefully it will. Okay, hopefully it will work. Okay, Gerardo Rivera, are you, are you there? Yes, teacher, but the uh, stay in my, in my work. <clears throat> I is on, only listen. All right, all right, that's okay, thanks. That's fine. <laughs> uh, let me see, Nefali, what about you? Uh, for example, I should stress all. Uh, for example, uh, I have a time today, so I, for that reason that I stress all. And the next one is hinder. I don't know is the I pronounce correct. Hanging there. Hanging there. Uh, for example, my son is uh, I am tired. I am tired of heading there. Okay, I am tired of hanging. Oh, I am tired of hanging in there. Okay, in there. Okay, all right, all right. Thank you for sharing your examples, Nathalie. Let's continue with uh, another person. Oh, well, Tatiana, hi. Hi, teacher. Can you share your examples, please? That would be awesome. Okay, they are stressed out because there is a lot of work. Paula is wiped out. Wiped out. Wiped out from the traffic. Only teacher. Only those ones? Yes. Okay, that's that's okay. That's that's fine. Thank you for so much for sharing. Uh let me go with somebody else. Hmm, let me see. Carlos Alberto, are you available? No, Carlos is not there. All right. People, that's fine. Do not worry about it. We got another activity here. Let me see if it works now. Yes, it's very, very unstable. Okay. Now, part number three, it's quite simple as well. It's about, about, about writing. It's a writing activity. Write a short paragraph about the common issues with machinery at your workplace. It says, people, write a short paragraph about the common issues with machinery at your workplace. Okay. 
That's what we're going to do. We're going to do a paragraph or write a paragraph individually, okay? Si podemos, haremos lo que está acá, okay? Let's use idioms, okay? People, questions? No questions? Okay, then let's let's do that. Let's work on the activity. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and then we're gonna share. People, let me know if you have any questions or let me know when you finish. Guys, did you finish? All right, <laughs> it's okay. Oh, no. Remember, if you have any questions, just let me know, okay? Yeah. 
People, did you finish? No. Nope. Teacher, yes. para decir ten paciencia, como que alguien me está diciendo ten paciencia, hang, hang in there. there, hang in there, so hang in there, hang in there, yes, o be hang in there, no, solo hang in there, hang in there, hang in there, and hang in there, ok, thank you. People, please let me know when you finish, okay? I'm going to be checking your information here because I have to check it. Sign in. People, did you finish? We are going to present soon. Did you finish? Yes. Yes, but it's a little short. It's short, don't worry, it's okay. It's fine. Um, we're gonna start sharing soon, 
Okay, soon, soon, pretty soon. I'm checking your information right now. I wanna see how, uh, well, I wanna see what your progress is in this moment. <clears throat> Okay. All right, we're going to start sharing a volunteer, please. Un voluntario, que inicie. A volunteer, hello. Oh, me, teacher. Okay, Bernardo, thank you for, for volunteering. Go ahead, please. Okay. The forging machine switched off many times. I was stressed out because I couldn't finish my work. I called up the maintenance technicians, but they didn't appear. I tried to settle down. I could repair the machine by myself. I was wiped out after a lot of work and I slipped my mind because I was out of time. After working extra hours, I will ask to my boss to scale back my hours next the next week excellent excellent wow 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 yes good good excellent Bernardo. thank you very much for sharing all right uh let's continue with another person Bernardo, you choose a person please um joanna okay joanna okay <laughs> he's not happy Okay. In my world, usually uh, the machinery present defaults. Uh, this problem stresses out the personal. The photocopier is problem very stresses, slow. Stresses out. This problem stresses out. Stresses out the personal or no? Yes, exactly. exactly. Okay. The photocopier is very slow. Of often I have hind there in my work is delayed. So like, mm -hmm. I should to zero down, but it's very complicated. The company to have a lot on its play, but don't buy other photocopier. Okay, they have a lot on their play. They don't have more, more photocopies. Okay. Joanna, I'm guessing you finished with the with the with your part, yes. right? Yes. Okay, thank you for reading. Excellent. Choose another person, Joanna. Uh, Carla. Okay, Carla. Carla is always chosen. Hello, teacher. Hi, Carla. Okay, Carla. Hello. The problem that often occurs at my job is that water pump pump the what sorry it's the the water pump eh, la bomba de agua oh the water pump yes yes water pump tend to break for a small part like gas gasket creo que si se dice este empaques package package and that Cause, cause us to shut down, to down, down. The production, shut down the production plan. Will will we wait there? Making change, change to continue the production we have going on, and that cause working or to be reduced. 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 Okay. Carla, did you finish? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you very much for sharing with everybody. Carla, you can choose another person. Choose, please, another person. Thank you, thank you. Este... Luis Javier Castillo. Okay, Luis Javier. There you go. Stage is yours.
Luis, hello. Not finished, teacher. I'm not finished. Share what you have. Lo que, lo que tenga comparta, Luis. Don't worry, don't worry. No, ok. Que se me borró, estaba haciendo y se me borró. I'm sorry. Ok, don't worry, Luis. I'm going to give you some time. Neftali, please share. Well, in my case, uh, in the company, we do clothes. So sometimes the machine, uh, for example, the near the near is broke. The mirror. Uh, well, sorry? The mirror, you said. The mirror. OK, OK, yes, yes. Like, and also, and also uh, we need to clean up the machines, too. And also, uh, probably it could be that the machines uh, don't doesn't receive electricity. I don't know if it's correct to say yes, that. Yes, yes. Doesn't receive so, electricity. Mm -hmm. So only that. Okay, okay. Nathalie, who is next? Quien sigue, Nathalie? You choose the person, please. Uh, Luis. No, Luis, no. <laughs> Luis Javier. No, Luis, no. Ah, okay. Uh... Emerson Ulises. Emerson, no, right. Okay. In my company, there are many, there are many common uses, but the common uses are the computer, printer, and other office equipment, because mm -hmm. I do not, not have a specific maintenance plan for them. When systems show down, the IT department, they not have the necessary staff for the cover of the service. That is a stress out. All right, all right. Ulises, your, your audio is, is, is weird. So audio está un poco, un poco distorsionado. Se escucha como que para mayor. Okay, voy a corregir. Yes, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Luis, she's another person, please. Tenemos Carol, Tatiana, Karen, Jose, yes. Who? Jose. Jose, Alexander. Okay. Mr. Carvajal, hello. Hi. Please share with us. Okay. Sometimes I can print documents because my printer doesn't connect to my PC. Then I have to call up to IT department for ask help. I get stressed out when the problem becomes habitual. The problem is due to the internet connection. It is very slow, and some employees use YouTube and TikTok in working hours. Oh, no. You, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> and I use, as I I use YouTube and TikTok sometimes. <laughs> okay, Jose, who is next? Quien falta? Well, almost everybody. <laughs> Carlos Ernesto, Tatiana, Carla, no, Carla, no. Carol, yes. We got. Uh, Carol. Who? Carol. Okay. Carol, hi, Carol. I, I think she's there. Hi, hi, hi. It's me. Hi, okay. Share with us, please. Thank you, thank you. In my work, I many machines, but all, all time I need to express a problem with my equipment the eye conditioner usually, usually i turn the buttons or turn in on or off and it doesn't work by then i do settle down because to have a lot on my plate, finish. Okay, because I have a lot on my plate. I have to settle down because I have a lot on my plate. Okay, thank you very much for sharing, Carol. Who is next, Carol? Who is next? Yes. 
Shoot the people, please. Emerson? No, he finished. Wow. Uh, yeah. We got, we got uh, Carlos Ernesto, Tatiana. We got, I think, Carlos Alberto, Carlos Vladimir, Karen. Yes. We got. Okay, Carlos. Thank you. Good evening. In my work, uh, when the washing machine is not work, uh, fixing a washing machine that will not start. It is the most basic of the washing machine breakdown. The, machine, the washing machine will not start. We have put the clock in the washing machine press on button and turn deal, but nothing happened. Mm -hmm. One, first, make sure the, uh, the washing machine is plugging in. Check uh, the power. Yes, yes. Check the power cord, cord behind the washer to make sure that is plugging in. Mm -hmm. Number two. Two, uh, check the, the circuit brake. It is the, the circuit brake. The circuit brake, the thermical. Uh -huh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, is switch off. Uh, it the cir circuit brake in the watcher flip it, flip it off. To reset the circuit brake, find the electrical service panel. Locate the correct circuit brake and flip of the off direction and then back to on position. And last one, check the leak. You're in our front loader washer, leak switch, a streak may be fairly. This is the area of the door frame, the communication to the machine that the door is property closed and it is okay to begin fill with water. Begin fill. Feel, right there. No, to be feeling, feeling. Feeling, yeah. feeling, feeling, excuse me. After that, the washing machine is working now. Okay, it's working now. All right, all right. Thank you, Carlos, for sharing. All right, uh, let me choose Karen. Karen, are you there? Can you help us? No, okay. Let me see, let me try with the, with Carlos Ernesto. Yes. Uh, today in my work, my computer makes a strange noise. So I call up my boss because he is the responsible to check the equipment. But he said me he had a lot of, a lot of on his plate. So hanging there, hanging there a couple of minutes. So I have a free time. That's it. That's all you have? Free time. Okay, okay. Oh, yes. Only that. Yes, it's okay. Tatiana, what about you? Thank you, Carlos, for sharing. Hi, teacher. Did you finish? In my world, in my world, there is a lot of stress out in the maintenance area. Uh -huh. Maintenance area, they yeah. are saturated area. They are saturated with word and don't have time to rest. They are weakened in that they do not stop working. Mm -hmm. The bus uh, has decided to scale, scale, scale back my uh, your work of scale back, scale back, scale back, scale. Excuse me. Scale, scale back. Scale, scale back. Uh -huh. Finish. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. Thank you very much, Tatiana, for sharing. Uh, Luis, are you ready? Something. 
Okay. The, most, uh, the most common is issues in my company is a fault in a lot of system. In the what? Exist yeah. a lot of what? In the alarm system. In in the alarm system. Okay. In the alarm system. Exist a lot of faults because by the technician slip his mind and close the data center door. My manager with cell down call up to technician by council this son. Yes, I'm listening. Only that. Only that. Okay, only that. Let me try with Alberto Castro. Hello. He's not there. Okay. Uh, let me see. Karen, what about you? Are you back? Nope. Karen is not back. Okay. Who hasn't who hasn't participated? Quien no ha participado? Please let me know. Let me know. Nope. We're good. We're almost done. Okay. Well, we, we're almost done. We just have uh, three minutes. So in these three minutes, I'm going to I'm going to be asking you for questions or confusion that you might have about today's topic or the previous topics. So guys, any questions? Hmm. People, any questions about, about the topics that we've seen? No teacher. No teacher. No teacher. All right then. Okay. Uh, let's envie un mensaje al grupo. Bueno, acá en, en, en Zoom. Okay. Es para contarles que actualicemos o que completemos la plataforma hasta la sección número 3. Okay. Recordemos mínimo 80% en cada sección. Okay. <coughs> Yes. Y si hay menos de 80, no. Ok, subámosla, ok. Porque si lo ponemos menos de 80, aparecerá aquí en el récord que, que tengo de inglés comparativo en amarillo. Ok. Y si está ahí, es porque no. Ok, it's not good. It's not good. So, people, 80. Ok, recordemos, sección 1, 2, 3. Y en la sección 1 también está incluido el midterm, que es el examen de medio mes o de la segunda C. Mana. All right. That's what we're going to do. Yes. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to update the attendance. Voy a actualizar la asistencia. Let me do it. Carlos Alberto Castro Santana. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Cecilia Yasmin Menjibar Soto. Present teacher. Hello, Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher, good night. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix, good night. Yes. Yes. Francisco Sánchez López. Present, Present teacher. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Joana Lisbeth, Lisbeth Eunice de Canales. Present, teacher. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Jose Gerardo Rivera Ochoa. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Here. Uh, Neftali, yes, Neftali Humberto Ramírez Ramos. Here. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Present teacher. 
Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present teacher. Yancy Olivares Raimundo. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carlos Ernesto Guerra. Present teacher. Karen Janet Granados Orellana. Here. Ok. Guys, very good, very good. Uh, well, let me see. I don't remember who hasn't stayed. ¿Quién no se ha quedado? Please. ¿Alguien que no se ha quedado? Fui la última. Yes, I know. ¿Qué se quedó? José, no se ha quedado, ¿verdad? ¿O sí? No. Ok. Entonces usted se queda. People. Platform, remember platform. Thank you very much, okay? Yes. See you tomorrow, people. Que se, que descansen, se cuidan. Tomorrow. Bye. Madruguen, okay? Madruguen. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye, people. Bye, teacher. Bye. Good night. Descansen, descansen. Bye, bye. Hi, Jose. Hello, teacher. Working? Yes. I'm sorry. Lo siento mucho, Jose. Se ve que no todo, todos los días sabe cómo hasta ahora trabajar. Eh, no, usualmente yo trabajo de noche. Really? ¿En serio? Yes, yes. Eh, mi horario de entrada es de las 7 de la noche hasta el siguiente día, 7 de la mañana. Wow. I'm sorry. Ah, entonces, cuando, eh, cuando, ¿cómo se llama? Cuando tengo el tiempo, bueno, de hecho hago el tiempo para que me quede a veces cierto espacio de 8 a 10 de la noche. Entonces, mm -hmm. pero siempre trato de hacer el tiempo para tomar la clase. A veces, como, como en esta ocasión, no estoy tan activo, más sin embargo, siempre estoy prestando atención. Mm -hmm. Entonces, igualmente en la casa, como también estoy estudiando. Entonces... Okay. Tomo, después de la clase de la universidad, tomo la clase de inglés. Ok, eso está bien, entonces no hay problema. Yo entiendo. Ok, I understand. Uh, no sé si tiene preguntas de lo que hemos visto, de algún tema que tenga en particular. Si está confundido con alguna sí. palabra, con cualquier cosa, pues aquí estoy. Sí, en, realidad, en realidad sí estoy eh, confundido en cierto, en cierto tema. Eh, me, me complicó, eh, creo que con una tarea. Eh, lo del de, orden de la palabra cuando es como permitido uh -huh. eh, es como is not allowed uh -huh. entonces, no entendía bien lo que era el orden de, 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 de las palabras entonces y cuando se ocupa ah ok aquí abro el archivo para explicarle ok ok Okay, that's that. Okay, it is not. De hecho, no es así, fíjate. De hecho, es así como está. Es B. Allow. B. Ok. Ah. Sería así, pero es como el B tiene, tiene tres formas. Ok. El B se puede decir que es. Um. Is. Y también are. Okay. Que es lo que se usa. Ok. No, es lo que, no se usa el B, sino que se usa am, um, is, are. Y el libro mencionaba solamente it is. Okay, it, it is, is yes. not allowed to. Así es el orden. It is not allowed to. También puedo decir I am not, you are not, she is not, etc. Okay. Y también se puede, eh, en el be, se puede poner be not allowed. No, no. Ahí es no. O solamente be allowed. Es que el be, el be, está, el be está solamente como referencia para estos tres que están acá abajo. Lo que se usan okay. en sí son los que están acá abajo. El am, is y el are. Como está acá. Okay. Okay. No se usa el be. Yes. Okay. Sino que se usa is. Oh, okay. It is not allowed 
se, ese que se usa para prohibición. Prohibición, sí. Ok, prohibition, para cosas que no se pueden hacer, ok. Prohibition. Por ejemplo, it is not allowed to take a nap at work. Ok, no está permitido, dice acá, no está permitido tomar una siesta en el trabajo. En el trabajo. Después del, del allow, ponemos siempre esto que está acá, que es el to. Y el verbo tiene que ir en su forma original. En su forma base. Forma original o base. Okay. Exactamente. Cualquier verbo. ¿Ok? Ah, ok. Yes. Como le comentaba, también puedo decir I, I am not. Ok. I am not allowed to. Podemos decir como you are not allowed to, etc. Ok. Ah, ok. Con todos los sujetos, ok. O podemos decir... Okay. Uh, Let me see, what can I tell you? FIFA is not allowed. Imagínense, cualquier cosa se puede usar, ¿ok? FIFA is not allowed to, to or, or in El Salvador. In El Salvador is not allowed to smoke in banks. Ok, etcétera. Okay. Entonces, ese no al lado es, se prohíbe. Significa se prohíbe o está prohibido. Se prohíbe o está prohibido. Y, y la forma contraria a está permitido. Ah, eso se lo borra con el not. Solo el not, oh, solamente es allow. Y en vez de prohibición, cambia al opuesto que es permission, que es permitido. Permission. Ok. Prohibición, permiso, okay. opuestos. Ok. Más o menos. Sí, eso no, me queda, eso no me queda muy claro. Ok, entiendo. Si el, tema, el tema es sencillo, lo que pasa es que tiene unos cuantos componentes que lo hacen un poco complicado de entender. Pero en sí, el, el tema es, es sencillo, lo que pasa es que es un poco extenso. No okay. sé. ¿Por cuál es eso, José? Sí. ¿Más preguntas? Solamente, solamente eso. Ok, está bien. Entonces, uh, cualquier cosa, una plataforma o cualquier pregunta, esa verdad. WhatsApp, you can text me privately with no problems. Ok. Ok. You can call me, yes. Ok. Ok. Por okay. Ricardo, que descanse. Bueno, no, ¿verdad? Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> bueno, que, bueno, que sea productivo, ok. Yes. Okay. See you. See you tomorrow. Ok, cuídense mucho, ok. Bye. Bye.